I'm, uh, my name is Davide Panagia, and I'm the Canada Research Chair in Cultural Studies. I teach in the Cultural Studies Department and the Program of Theory, Culture, and Politics here at Trent University. Well, um, I'm here to talk about The Emperor of All Maladies by uh, Siddhartha Mukherjee. Uh, the subtitle of the book is A Biography of Cancer. Um, and it's interesting that he chose that subtitle because it isn't a history of cancer, nor is it a, a scientific study of cancer, but it's very much treating the uh, development and discovery of cancer throughout the ages as a story about a life form uh, that more and more invades our consciousness and invades our life. Uh, and of course, in the modern period, uh, we've learned a lot about cancer, uh, but it was around, our knowledge and awareness of cancer was around uh, way back from uh, ancient times. So he begins uh, with this problem, uh, a problem that is uh, typical of, uh, of uh, uh, an interdisciplinary approach to uh, cancer and to the study of science, which is, you know, what is it? What is it that we're looking at? What is it that a scientist like him, who he's an, he's an oncologist who was at, uh, in Boston uh, at Harvard first and now is at uh, Columbia University, and he's interested in trying to find out exactly what it is that uh, we're looking at when, uh, when we look at something like cancer, from both a sociological level, from a cultural level, from a scientific level. Um, and the way in which he begins is by dealing with uh, a question that was asked to him by one of his patients. Um, and it's actually a very sort of compelling and moving question. It was a patient who was doing uh, various experimental treatments for a very severe kind of cancer. And uh, she, at one point, said to him, look, doctor, I'm interested in going on, but I want to know what is it that I'm fighting? Um, and he didn't have an answer for her. Um, and he didn't know where to point her in the direction of giving her an answer. And so he decided to write a book in order to give her an answer. Um, and in doing so, he gives us an answer as well. What is it, this thing that is a life force that has invaded all of our lives in a particular way? It's not merely a scientific object, it's not merely a cultural object, it's not even merely a personal and intimate object, it's all of these things tied together at once. Um, it's very well written. The book is considered one of the top ten books of 2010 by various lists, including the New York Times. Um, and it's also a book that I think that the Trent Reads program would enjoy simply because it's not uh, a, doesn't require a specialized language or a specialized vocabulary, nor does it require a specialized knowledge. And it's interesting uh, as a book for uh, Trent University because it is very much in the tradition of the interdisciplinarity of this institution. Um, and so it would be very good for uh, the Trent Reads program precisely because it would help in, uh, students introduce them to the idea of an interdisciplinary approach to an object of inquiry that uh, pervades and complicates and also uh, invades our lives.